Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna go through this Maco book real quick. Now I've actually had this for a few days and I wasn't gonna do it because it actually expires here in a week, but I got to looking through it and it's got some really good deals in it. So I just wanna go through it real quick. Now I haven't posted a video in a four, five, six days or something. Now I actually do have a video that I need to edit and get out. It's a good one. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So try to stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get on it tonight and try to get it out. Now I've been slacking, I've been preoccupied these past few days, but we're gonna get this out real quick. And like I said, the next video is gonna be a good one. I guarantee it. I think you'll like it. So stay tuned. Let's get into this real quick here. So we can see on the front cover here, it's got a 15 piece metric combination wrench set for $164.95 for 15 wrenches, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, $10 a wrench, pretty good deal. It's from six millimeter all the way to 20 millimeter. If I was in the market for wrenches, I would definitely consider this right here. I think it's a great deal. So let's get on in. Starting off, we got this 12 volt cordless quarter inch impact kit. Now it comes with, if I'm not mistaken, this comes with one battery. I'm not sure. I'm reading here. I don't see. It doesn't say exactly, but I'm going to guess one battery for $299.95. It's saying it has a breakaway torque of 100 foot pounds. So for a quarter inch impact, that's pretty good. Now I have heard good things about the cordless Mako impact wrenches, but I haven't used them, but I have heard that they are monsters. So whether that's worth the money, I don't know, but for $299.95, you get this with it. It is a quarter inch drive, 14 piece metric six point impact socket set. This is the ADV Matco set. So it's valued at $60.95. So that is their lesser brand sockets or whatever else they sell for that. But for $299.95, you get the quarter inch impact and those sockets. So quarter inch impact sockets, they're, they're not real common. So if you're interested in something like that, then there you go. I mean, it, I guess it, it, I guess it probably may not be a bad deal. It's pretty expensive, but as I said, I've heard they're pretty good. So down here, we got the quarter inch drive cordless ratchet kits. This comes with two batteries. So you get the color, you get to choose the colors between green, orange, or the purplish color. I'm not sure the exact color, but you can see the colors for yourself. This is actually a 16 volt set. 35 foot pounds of max torque they claim. Now this right here, this actually looks pretty cool and would be pretty handy, I think. So for $257.95, it is a 16 volt reciprocating saw, but that is for the bare tool. And they claim up to 3,100 strokes per minute with a half inch stroke length. So there you go. Now I do actually think that would be pretty nice to have to be honest with you. I don't know whether I would pay that much for that, but that is a pretty good idea in my opinion, and I would definitely be interested in something like that. Now up here we got the Piston Keychain, 1995. You know, it seems pretty cool. If you was looking for some novelty like that or whatever, I, I, you may be interested in that, I don't know. Now over here we got the Amp Hound 2. It's coming in at $155.95. They claim an audible tone lets you know when you have connection with the fuse and if there is current present in the circuit. So that would be pretty handy to have if you were looking for something like that, $155.95. That, that probably would be worth it in my opinion. Next we have the 12-piece hand impact driver set for $124.50. Then we have the five inch twin multimeter lead set for $37.95. Now this right here actually is a six piece blow gun kit for $27.50. That's a pretty good deal for that. So I actually may go ahead and call and get that because I actually could use a blow gun kit. And for $27.50, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Then we got the magnetic finger pickup tool. I've never actually used that before. You could you could see the usefulness of it, obviously, and it looks like they're holding a little extension, so it may have some power to it. If you've used one, let me know. For 13 bucks, I mean, it's worth a shot. I think I think that would come in handy in a lot of situations. Okay, now we got the XL needle nose pliers. You buy the 45 
degree plier and they'll throw in the straight plier for free. So for $69.95, you get both of those needle nose, long needle nose pliers. That's actually not a bad deal, $35 per plier. If they're good pliers, then, you know, I think that's a pretty good deal myself. Now this right here, a lot of people probably will not think is a good deal, including me. That's pretty expensive right here for a headlamp, man. 178 fit. 50. It is rechargeable. They do claim 850 lumens, so it is bright. But for $178, man, that's you know that's a lot of money. Now we look at the Harbor Freight stuff a lot here on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, go down and subscribe because I do videos like this. We talk about just anything tool related, man. I try to throw in some projects, some tips when I can. So if you ain't subscribed, go down and hit the subscribe, man. I. I I think you'll enjoy it. I want to learn something from you, and hopefully I could teach you something, man. So, but we anyway, we talk about the Harbor Freight stuff here, and the lights, like I have the Braun foldable LED light. Now, that is a pretty good light, and I think I got it on sale with the coupon for like maybe $20, $25, $30 or something. I can't remember. It is a pretty good LED light, but... It is cheaply made, man. I have banged mine up, and I actually plan on doing a video about that and talk a little bit about, like, especially like when you look into something like a Streamlight or something, man, You the price difference is humongous. And whether it's worth it or not, you know, it's going to come down to a matter of personal opinion. But I'll tell you this right now, I do have some Streamlight stuff, and I have banged up those stream lights and everybody I know that has stream lights has banged theirs up. We've dropped them, banged them, smashed them, ran them over and they hold up tough, but they are expensive. Whether or not it's worth it to pay, you know, $150 for a flashlight or buy 10 flashlights at $15 that are pretty cheap. You know, like I said, that's going to come down to a matter of opinion. Me personally, that may be something I've, uh, I obviously was interested in it because I do own some Streamlight stuff. But here we go. We got another one. This one's a 300 lumen. This one only comes in at 127.50. I say only, and I use that term pretty loosely because, as we said, that's pretty expensive. Now we got the P5R rechargeable flashlight, 420 lumens. It's at 153.95. Now this here. Maco, I love Maco toolboxes, Maco tool carts, man. You know, that's a, I don't understand why they don't make the tool carts like they do their boxes. I kind of like these tool carts the way they look, but the drawers are kind of like big and awkward. And I don't know how, but I, I'm probably actually going to buy one of these. And if I wasn't so far up in the debt I am on the truck, I may go ahead and try to get this right here because this deal right here I think is pretty good. It's at $898.95. You're going to get the tool cart. Obviously, you see here, it is the four drawer heavy duty service cart. Now, you, now you get the side shelf for free, the matching one, when you buy this for $898.95. And they also have the cover here. You're going to get that as well. So for the cart shelf, and the cover, $898.95, high quality, good. Whether it's good looking, I would probably go with the black. I'm a fan of black just because I'm a dirty, dirty guy, man. You know, it, we, we work hard, we get dirty. Now this right here, if you ain't seen my video where I changed the Harbor Freight Tech Car into a mobile powering station and I did it for like $30, it's, it's a pretty, I, I think I've done pretty good here with it, I'll link it above, man, and I, it's turned out pretty good. But as you can see here, man, they got a power strip for $81.95. That's pretty expensive in my opinion. This also is pretty expensive right here, $253.76 for the Knipex, Nipex, Nipex, however you wanna say it, three-piece pliers wrench set. You get the 7 inch, the 10 inch, and the 12 inch. If you haven't used those before, I actually have one. You can see here. Now, I mean, it's just like an adjustable wrench. They open up square, and they're, they take some getting used to to use, but it actually is pretty handy, especially in the line of work that I do, because I do, I do mess with a lot of bolts, big bolts, big nuts. So this right here actually does come in handy. Now, I would like it if it was the water pump style to where I could just push up and lock to where I need it because 
a lot of times I'm fiddling around trying to find the right notch. And But, I mean, this is not bad. Now, $253.76, you can get it a lot cheaper. I'll link it down below. I may be able to even find the set for you for a lot cheaper, but you can buy them individually. And I think I paid like $50 for that pair. So even if I did, even if you did pay $50 a piece, that's still only $150, man. So that's a, it's a lot cheaper to buy something like that on Amazon. So if you, if you know, if, if you have access to the tool truck and you're looking for a Knipex, Knipex, Knipex pliers, what have you, then I, if you want my advice, man, buy it on Amazon. You can get it a lot cheaper and it's the same plier, man. Over here, we got the Smooth Operator High Leverage Diagonal Cutters, $79.95. I actually have that pair. Might as well look at it. I actually own that right there, and I paid a lot less than $79.95, maybe $35, $40 or something I paid. So you on Amazon, once again, man, a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. High quality pliers, my favorite pliers are those pliers, man. You know, they are expensive, but I'll tell you what, once you use them, you can tell the difference. They're better than any pliers I've ever held, ever used, ever even thought about using, man. They do their things at Nipex, Nipex, Knipex, however you want to pronounce it. Now we got the 3H Drive ADV 13-piece metric socket impact set, $56.95. And we also got the 3H 12-point standard impact socket set for $69.50. So that's not bad for a set of impact sockets. You know, they're probably obviously made in China, but you will get the lifetime guarantee. You will be able to warranty them out on your tool, on your tool truck with your driver, or you could call Maco directly, snap on directly, Mac Tools directly, man, and they will warranty whatever you got. They will ask you where you got them from, but... They don't require that you remember because like I did when I called, man, I said, I don't remember exactly who I got them from because I've dealt with a lot of drivers, been with a lot of shops and they say, okay, they send you a, a label or you send it in or they send you a rebuild kit. No questions asked, takes about a week. Now we got the five piece half moon wrench sets. You buy the, this set for $260.25, you get the metric set for free. So. 10 wrenches for $260.25 is $26 a wrench. Ah, uh, you know, once again, personal preference, man. Pry bars, man. And that's another thing. I don't understand Harbor Freight. They need to come out with an icon set of professional pry bars, man, because I like actually like the Craftsman set for as far as a budget set. It's a really good set. I think it's $20 for three of them, and they will last, and they are well-made. They're made in the U.S., they're good. Now I own, I own the Maco pry bar set. I do like these pry bars. I like the way the handles are. They curve in. You can get a good grip on them. They're comfortable. They're strong. They're well made. They're durable. The striking caps are good on them. I think I paid $190 for those four. So they do come at a price. But as we can see up here, They are selling the big ones. I actually do need a big one, so I'm actually probably going to call the driver. They have the 42-inch, the 48-inch, or the 58-inch, and I do need to get a big one, so I may go ahead and just spring and get the 48-inch maybe. I don't think I need the 58-inch, but or maybe even the 42-inch. I don't know, but they're, like I said, good pry bars, and I do need the long one, so I might as well go ahead and take advantage of the 15% off at $141.95 for the 42-inch, $176.95 for the 48-inch, and $202.50 for the 58-inch. Okay, now we got the pop-up tool store play tent. So for the kids, man, $104.95, that's pretty cool for them, something interesting, something to be involved with them, man. You know, if you're a mechanic and, you know, you want to be involved with your kids in that aspect and have them, you know, they may want to be like dad or mom or whatever. You know, that stuff's pretty cool in my opinion. The price is a little expensive, but I mean, $104 for a tent, a little pop-up tent, I think it'd be cool to have. Now we got the custom LED sign, $299.95, Matco, service, trust, results. Now we got the Ratfink Black Banner, 3620. 
Okay, man, now they're getting into it. Now you can deck your dogs out in Mac O Tools attire, man. You know, that's... I, I guess it's I guess it's pretty cool, man. But you can get the dog dish, the the collar, you can get the leash, you even get the little Matco nylon dog bone, man. It looks like a wrench for fourteen twenty five. So pretty cool. Okay, look at, now. Look at this, man. This is a big old chair, one hundred seventy four ninety five. It's actually a two person chair. I actually want that man i actually you know i'm a big guy anyway but you know if you got the lady with you then you guys can both hang out watch some movies drive in what whatever you guys are up to man i think that's pretty good pretty good price 174.95 for it it is going to be you know obviously well made it's going to be i think it holds 400 pounds so you could you know i'm a pretty big guy so i could even fit a big girl with me Okay, now we got the two-piece Tiki style Bluetooth speaker set. Looks like Tiki torches, and it's a Bluetooth speaker, $84.95. Then we got the Oakleys. They don't have the price on it. We got the camo T-shirt. T-shirt is $31.95 for double X and up and $27.50 for extra large and down. Then we got the combo blade utility knife, $21.50. Uh, I guess that'd be pretty... It's pretty reasonable and something I could probably use, maybe. Then we got the folding camo lounger with carrying bag for $79.95. Pretty good deal on that, in my opinion. Now we got the gauge sets here. We got an aluminum gauge set for $302.95. Brass, $174.50. Professional aluminum, $174.50. Saving 15% on each of those. Then we got the dye injection kit. Save 15% on that for $221.50. And we got some dye down here, the actual dye 360. Leak detection lights. So it's probably some sort of UV, blue light, what have you. And you're, and you're going to be able to obviously see any of this dye or anything for a leak. You know, you need, you need stuff like that if you're working on vehicles, man, at some point. Now we got the digital battery tester. For $301.95. Now, this it does seem expensive. It's the Master Fuel Pressure Test Kit Set. $461.95. You can buy a set for cheaper, but it's not a full set. Man, this is going to do about everything you need it to do. And if you're going to buy one, you might as well just spring out and buy something like that. That you're going to get everything you need, and it's going to be high quality. I actually do need a good fuel pressure test kit set. Now, if you were just to skimp, say, and buy a fuel pressure test kit set from Harbor Freight, then if you've ever bought one, you're going to know they're garbage because I have bought one. I have tried to use them. They're garbage, but they are really cheap, but it's not worth it. You're throwing away money buying something like that. Now we got the adjustable ductile iron bench vise. At least 45% stronger than the forged steel vise. We can see the prices here for the 4 inch 243.50, 5 inch 324.50, 6 inch 387.50, and the 8 inch 594.50. That is pretty expensive, but if you know anything about vices, you know, I, I like Wilton vices myself. That's what I like to use. So if you're going to say buy a tradesman vice, a six inch, five inch tradesman vice, when you're looking at six, seven, eight hundred dollars for one of those, if you use a vice, if you really, really use a vice, then you need a good vice because you could buy some cheap little junk, like even the cheap Wilton one I got, that thing's not going to hold up. The cheap ones from Harbor Freight, they're going to break. Now, I got a Wilton Tradesman Vice that I actually got, and I'll tell you what, man, it's seven hundred something dollars. Thanks, what it cost, and but it'll never break, man, never break, and I could do anything I want to it. So it's worth the money, in my opinion. Okay, brake maintenance, man. These are little flare wrenches. You can see here's a flex flex head here, one hundred forty four fifty for five of them. That is expensive, but that would be man it would be indispensable if it came to the point you needed it and you had it 144.50 pretty good pretty good deal man it's not it's not like something that you're going to run out and get but that if you need it then you would you would 
be more than glad to spend that money when the time came that you needed it. So it's up to you, obviously, you know. I'll just give my opinions here. Now we got the 10-piece oil filter socket set, not $89.50. Ah, uh, you know, once again, whether or not you, you believe you need something like that or not. Now we got the Toyota Heavy Duty 64 millimeter end cap wrench for $56.50. Then we got the multi-function wire stripper set for $63.95. Okay, ma'am. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat if you buy something like that, bro, for $162.50. Uh, I don't know, man. You know, it's, it, obviously you're a man, you woman, you work for your money. I would never dog somebody for how they spend their money, but in my opinion, man, for $162.50, I, I just couldn't see myself buying that seat like that, man. I really couldn't. But, you know, if you have, man, there's ain't nothing wrong with it, buddy. I would never dog somebody for spending their money that they work for how they want. Because I'm going to respect you, man. I'm going to respect everybody. That's just the type of man I am. I'm... I'm, I'm not on no BS. I'm a straight up man with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you what I think. And, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing, man, period. And I'll, I would always respect you first and then hope that you would return the favor. And I know a lot of you guys are the same way. And that's why I like a lot of you guys. I get along with a lot of you guys. Man, we never met in person, obviously, but we have talked in the comments, and I feel like I do know some of you guys pretty good, and I feel like we could be probably be good friends if we did know each other and was closer to each other. So I do appreciate you guys, man. It's, it's an honor to meet all of you. So here we go. We got a universal valve spring compressor kit here. It's uh, $204.50. As you can see here, if we could zoom in a little bit, you can see just going to be compressing valve springs, man. Now, you can actually make something that's similar to that for next to nothing. You know, maybe I could show you that or something. I do, I do know, you know, I, I do know a couple little tricks. But if you're interested, man, maybe I will throw a little video like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. Now, we got a handy bearing packer for $31.50. You know, if you don't want to pack them, I guess, you know the old school way then there you go then we got a low profile pitman arm remover 204.50 uh, you know that may be something that i'd be interested in maybe i mean you can see here it's gonna fit in a tight spot i i, I may i may end up needing something like that you know then we got a universal hub shocker for 157.50 and then down here we got the master front wheel drive wheel bearing adapter kit for 144.50 Okay, here we got their welders. Man, I was talking about the welders and the Mac tools. I still didn't look it up. I need to look it up. If you know down in the comments who makes their welders, let me know. You can buy them a lot cheaper straight from that company. I want to say it begins with an E, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But if you know, man, leave it down in the comments because I can't remember, but I would like to know again, and I'm going to look it up as well. But if you know, leave it down there, man, in case somebody's interested. But you can see here the prices of these welders here. We got an inverter, dual voltage, mig stick, TIG, spool gun welder for $21.42.50. Then we got the Synergetic DVI multi-process welder, inverter powered, dual voltage, wire feed welder for flux core MIG welding, plus a DC stick welder for $23.94.50. This one actually has a 4.3 inch LCD screen on it. So as I said, $23.94.50. 50 for that, man, you could probably go straight to the company and get it for $1,000 less, I'm guessing, but pro I looked them up before and that's pretty much about what it is, about $1,000 cheaper than if you get it without the Mac, if you get it with the Mac O name versus without the Mac O name, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, here we got the Oakley glasses once again. There is no prices, but I did ask about them, man, 250, 150 to 250, I think he said, and you know, me personally, man, I can't spend that much on sunglasses because I lose them. You know, I lost them uh, a while back. The last pair I had, I lost some girl called me and, you know, I left them over there. And I, I obviously didn't go back and get them. But, all right, now we got the Butane Cap Hat. 1650. You know, man, I'm not a big fan of the Maco clothing line as I am with the Mac Tools clothing line. I think they have better clothes. It seems like Maco is more geared towards the golfer type guy, you know what I mean? No, no disrespect if you like Mac O stuff. It's just, it's not for me. I have a different style and it probably wouldn't look as good on me as it does on you. I guarantee that. 
And the same thing goes with their hats here. We got the gray new era cap, $27.95. We got the distress patch cap for $19.95. I'm not a big fan of their hats, man, or any of their clothes for that matter, as I just said here. And we got the Mako Tools rubber basketball, $19.95. I guess that'd be pretty cool to have, maybe just to lay around. And we got the ladies invisible stripe V-neck t-shirt here for $31.95 for XXL and up and $27.95 for under XXL. You know, I could look good on your girl. You know, I, I actually, that actually doesn't look bad to me. You know, I would probably hit on you if you was out there and was wearing that, you know. Not not a guy, obviously. You know, I'm talking to the few women that I do have watching this. There are a couple. Then we got another one, a Canada Ladies Try T-shirt. And we got a couple more little T-shirts here. Okay. Now, if you've seen the last video, we've seen the welding helmets, American and the Canadian. Now look at these toolboxes, man. Now I don't know about you, bro, but I would love to have that up here in Redemption Garage, man. You know, and if you're from Canada, then bam, you know. To me, that is pretty bad, bro. Pretty, pretty bad. I would love to have that. Definitely would. I would probably pay a pretty good penny for something like that. It's a beautiful paint job. Like I said, I love the boxes anyway. So, but we're probably looking at five to eight thousand dollars, maybe. I can't tell you exactly. We could look at the number here and somebody could look it up. Let's see here. It is 4225RP-USA. And obviously the Canada 4225RP dash. CAD for Canadian. So even the Canadian one looks pretty good. You know, obviously I would not choose that over the American. Obviously, you know, uh, some people may, but not, not me, man. I got to go with that one. It looks pretty good. All right, man, let me go ahead and end this. It did go on longer than I planned on it going on. Once I get rambling, man, I don't stop. So I try to keep these as short as possible for you, man. I don't want to eat up a whole bunch of your time, but I do appreciate you watching. I do enjoy spending time with you. I do enjoy making these videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would go down and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing more videos like this, including projects, tips, tricks, and more, man. So hit the bell if you ain't hit the bell, because the next video is going to be a good one. And the videos are going to just keep getting better. I'm going to keep getting better, man. We're all going to do this together. So I do, like I said, I really do appreciate y'all, man. So till next time, take it easy.